like, we don't have any data, I'm just making wild guesses here, but if you did have, say, like, a, a trend of people searching for that more and more and more as elections come through, yeah. and you really, Google, like, excessively powerful there. Okay, I, I, was, I was hoping if I searched for, like, who should I vote for, I'd come up and say, like, <laughs> vote for this person. <laughs> I doesn't. Joseph yeah. Stalin. Yeah, so yeah, that's, like, things are going to get very, very interesting. It's going to get big. Just in, it's gonna like, in a political realm, it's going to be... I don't really like where it's going, actually. They, they have a Wait, lot of power. They, they, they have a lot, but... It, it, I mean, this is one of the benefits of having kid and data, I guess. It would be yeah. interesting when it's all shared and stuff. But, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's um, uh, the next one is the rally to restore sanity and or fear. Woo! Woo! Winner! John Stewart! Is, uh, John Stewart and Stephen Colbert. They uh, organised a, a rally. Uh, well, to... Reddit started it. Well, yeah, see, that, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> they came up with this... Uh, Oh, I forget the guy's name. I'd memorized it before I came. Ah, oh, damn it. He, he came up with an idea. He said, w I, am I totally crazy or would it be awesome if John, uh, if Stephen Colbert held a, an opposing rally to Glenn Beck? Oh, the particular Redditor. Yeah, the particular yeah. Redditor that did it. Yeah. Yes. And um, yeah, well, that, that ended up starting and just the absolute shitstorm that happened on Reddit about it all. Shitstorm. Shit was going everywhere, man. It was crazy. I know. They had to clean up the Reddit HQ. Oh my God, the feces, the stink. <laughs> Jeez Louise. Um, yeah, where was I going? Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> uh, it was very interesting to actually just see, uh, it was very much a very grassroots thing, like through Reddit and through all of the other stuff. I mean, like all through Twitter, all through about most forums and stuff. Yeah. All the forums I usually visit, uh, most of them had like a thread on how to get there. Stuff and even yeah. actual like little sister rallies being held in all different cities and stuff. Well, originally it wasn't gonna; it was just gonna be for Colbert. Just for Colbert, and, and then, then Stuart jumped on in and turned yeah. it into his, and it's like, oh. And they did <laughs> say that they'd been planning it for a while and they were working it all out, but yeah, still, yeah. like they should have given all the things to rent. I mean, that was a great way to start it and go that. Hey, the main reason I want to bring this up, I think it's a great way to look at how an actual grassroots movement goes goes forward a activism well, online yeah activism online activism. just towards this even if it's a, a very silly thing really I mean it's nothing too serious oh yeah they have more than Glenn Beck oh yeah we had like 220,000 and you like, Fox News that's another thing <laughs> Fox 000. News come on we have Fox News here though yeah but but in, in the states Fox News has more viewership than all the other networks combined yeah it's a bit weird and that must fuck with the country's <laughs> intelligence and you know opinions and everything yeah. like that's why you should uh, vote for Christine O'Donnell, even though she lost. Yeah. I know. It's just, <laughs> and yet they're so blatantly biased. It's not news organisation, it's a political opinion. It's propaganda. It's, pro it's yeah. propaganda through and through. It will like Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I'm using their tactics. Well done. <laughs> Fox News um, is like Hitler. So no. do, do you think we'll see more of this type of, like, I, I yeah. really think this is the beginning of, like, this was a rally that got 220,000 people there, very ground up, it was very geeky, like, and it really spoke to the geeks. I mean, like, it's signs and all of that. Like, I was watching, like, crazy going everything. I was voting on signs, doing all that. It was for the geeks, and that's what made it great, because people were like, hells yeah, it's something I can get behind. But the, the way that it actually just spread throughout, I think this is just the beginning. And, I mean, I'm sure the beginning was a little while back. Like, people have been organizing it for a while, but it's really hitting mainstream now. I mean, like, Stephen Colbert just today... Uh, Drew like a Reddit alien on like all of his papers and stuff. He's doing shout outs really? to them. Reddit raised half a million dollars in um, yeah. charity for him. Teachers through donors. Yeah. Yeah. And it just donors it'll choice. just keep on going more and more. Like the, the social media, like I mean you can actually categorize Reddit as social media and stuff. Still don't, don't like that word, but anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I really yeah. don't like that word, but actually, yeah, going up and it's, it's gonna be big. This is still the beginning. I'm very excited where it can go from here. Yeah. What the next rally will be. And it should be worldwide. I wanted to go to it. I couldn't go. Don't enough money. Yeah, no, it, it, they streamed it live, but it was at 3 a.m. Yeah, so they've got it up on um, our site where we get shows from, so that's good. Our site where we get shows from? Uh, Bruce's mom .com. <laughs> Bruce even... is his dad. Okay, that makes no sense. <laughs> Internal jokes for the win, Tris. Yeah. <laughs> Alas. Um, um, okay, so, a little bit drunk, come on. So, laptops down, serious business, politics, yeah. eh? Come here, come closer. I've got something to tell you. And I don't want to with, the, with my other comments. I don't want to ostracize like like we are we are we are typically. He pissed off South Australia before. <laughs> we got phone calls. No, I, I don't. I don't want to ostracize any conservative viewers. You yeah. know what I mean? Because because we are like okay, we're both. If you're going to put us on a, a spectrum, we're probably liberal leaning. I'm not liberal. I'm excessively <laughs> conservative and proud of it. And ran for the win. But yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, we, we understand the point of view. It's just. 
you know, you're you just angry. The whole means. Well, it's just <laughs> Fox News is really just a. They give conservatism a bad name, really. Well, there is no actual logical conservatism route at this point. I can see the points of view and I can understand it and see yeah. where you go through. Like, I've read, like, Atlas Shrugged and all of that and all the other stuff. It you know, makes like, sense. The amount of money but, they're wasting in the States. Yeah, that's it. It's ridiculous. Conservatism. Anyway, we should get off this topic yeah. and actually talk about uh, politics into the, the future. future. Okay. Um, so, well, do you want to start? Do you want to say, like, we could do a rough thing of um, what, what trends are you noticing at the moment and where do you think you'll be going? Uh, <laughs> Well, I made this prediction before where I don't think... I, I, I think I said I, I don't think governments will exist in like 20 years, but I think they'll... Yeah, I, I disagree. Well, yeah, well, like I'll, I'll rephrase it. I said mm. that they'll probably still be around, but they won't play a very significant role anymore. They'll be a bit like all the other, you know, things that we still see that, you know, really don't play a significant role. Why do you think role. that's how, like, what are the trends going Well, the, the trends are social media. Like, social media is really, really new and it's really difficult to see where that could go, but it really is, it's all about, I mean, you're seeing all the collective, the collectivism and activism online at the moment. Yeah. I mean, step that up a notch, a couple of notches, go a little, you know, you've got to extrapolate it quite a bit. It's, yeah. a, it's a stretch. But I mean, if you have, well, a, if you have a certain platform, yeah. you could, you could pretty much, a group of people online could pretty much do a lot of what governments do now. Yeah. But better. Yeah. And more effectively and for like nothing. So I think. Like, it, it can be another way of actually organizing and doing people that way. Like, I, I can agree with you saying that people. Be <laughs> killing people? What? Did you say doing people? Doing people. Yeah, I probably did. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I, yeah, I, I can agree with you there. That, that, I mean, there, another system is going to happen online. Like, that, I think this is something inevitable, that a, a system is going to happen online where people can actually participate in their local, in their country and how it's run more from, yeah. from their PC, like from their phone even, like just on the net. I mean, that's, we're seeing that more and more and more. Everyone is just getting online. Everything is becoming on there. And the government essentially, when you boil it down, is just a collection of people just making sure society runs. And so then they're, why can't you they're replace... Like, they're pretty much like they control the budget. Yeah. That's all they really do. Well, and the laws. And yeah, laws. I'm sure there's a few other things we miss, but essentially, yeah. They just make sure that the country runs smoothly through it. Yeah. I mean, if, if a small system that can actually just start working there and has the potential for growth... I mean, that'll just keep on, that'll just keep on getting larger and larger and larger. If it has something like that will grow. I'm using yeah. a lot of gardening metaphor. <laughs> but a uh, seed, like just a, a basic idea where everyone can go online and start participating, like, you know, even voting in their ideas. Like, you yeah. know, the, the classic old idea that why can't we vote on any idea that comes yeah, well, up? It's a bit ridiculous how every, our system at the moment that we call democracy, and it's like the best system in the world is you go in, you're manipulated into picking a certain candidate based on all the propaganda and stuff that's thrown at you, you have to decide and you only pick one, you pick one person essentially or one group for four years and then that's it. You don't yeah. have any other say. You can have a say but it's incredibly, incredibly difficult. Well, that, that's another rally, thing. Rally, you know, protests and... Well, speaking of trends and stuff, like, like, again, like, I know there was a lot more activism, say, like, back in the 60s and 70s of people saying, look, not happy with that, not happy with that. Yeah. But the backlash from that was more focused, well, say, like, propaganda networks and stuff going there or... Say actual like the news actually getting people okay. I mean, look at the Vietnam War. The main reason of the fighting going back was because of the all the journalists and all the stuff in the Vietnam War actually filming whatever they wanted, then getting it back. When you no, look no, at the no, Iraq, Iraq War and Afghanistan, sensitive. yeah, it's very sensitive. But sensitive the yeah. state actually realized, hey, let's actually uh, filter what comes back. Yeah. <laughs> but what we're starting to see, I think, maybe with the rally to restore sanity, not too much because that was a little bit of a uh, a left wing thing. I yeah, mean, as much as I tried to say it wasn't, it's it, it was yeah. a little bit. Uh, that there may, may actually start to be a backlash against that, uh, backlash against all this massive money and massive ads being spent, right. and that could actually lead to something there. Yeah. Uh, well, what would you say like politics would look like, say like thirty years from now, even going forward, or like you uh, can't predict that far. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, again, I'm just gonna say I don't think governments will exist. I, I I like the um I've done a lot of research into like anarcho capitalism, like anarchy type mm. stuff, and people are always scared of it, and they always got all these like oh, we need governments, but Gross. it's like. It's like, well, given the right platform, you can replace all that. Yeah. I, you can't, you can't, something say, I still you can't just say words and then just I know, not, I know. not have anything to back up. Your I, know, well, I mean, we have, we have discussed this a bit before, but yeah, I, yeah. I, I disagree with just uh, a bit of it that there are some things that need to be provided from people, even if they don't want to. Yeah, well, but there's a lot of different systems you can, like a lot of social vetting systems you can have in play. And mm -hmm. when data is literally transparent, like, and it's all yeah. shared around. You can see if someone's being a dick in society, you know, they'll be punished for it. Hmm. Well, see, the, the problem is that how do you determine who's being a dick and you get into all this? Transparency. And, well, see, even with that, like, who actually 
does the memes. I mean, people are so easily swayed either way. Yeah. That I mean, and you get the same thing well, like the, the tragedy of the commons and all of that and all the other yeah. fallacies that come out there. But anyway, that's... Well, that, that's another issue that could be like a, a bad thing is, is you would think that with the internet, um, we'd have like a liberation of ideas and mm. all that sort of stuff. And so that you, you would think that any rational, intelligent voter would go out and research both sides, research every mm. single candidate and exactly what all their policies mean and, you know, disregard their emotional states in regards to particular things and try and work yeah, out what is the best thing. Yeah, but that doesn't happen now. Yeah. But even now, like people, you know, we, we said this before, if you're, a, if you're like a hardcore, you know, or even just slightly like conservative leaning or liberal leaning, you'll tend to search for information yeah, that in Google you. that backs it up. And then you, you don't get anywhere with that. And yeah. it's particularly if, you, if we do get this recommendation engine just stuff that I, we keep spitting on about, it's going to be even worse because it'll just it'll just give you conservative yeah. articles if you're conservative and liberal stuff if you're not. Uh, well, even, uh, sorry, there's another... Even the fact that we have a... Why do we have this this two-party, either you're liberal or conservative, when the, it's a spectrum? Yeah. Well, that, I mean, that's no, a weird it's a, well, it's, it's, it's the way that um, it's the, the trends though, that balances that way. That, I mean, yeah. the third parties are meant to show if like a third party starts gaining traction and they switch over to them and take on their policies and stuff. But... The one thing I found with that uh, I thought was really cool about like saying where it'll go and like what'll happen in a, a long term thing yeah. um, is say the government at the moment, like I, I disagree, I don't think the government will go away. I think it'll just have maybe a, a little bit more of a, a minimal role, like saying maintaining just the laws and maintaining um, like, you know, the roads or the, the, the things that are important, say like the internet infrastructure, like a broadband network and stuff like that'll be mainly, I think, where the government will be regulated a bit more to there and most of the decision making uh, will be made, I think, more online through large groups. I mean, because politics at the moment, it's, it's a little bit sluggish, it's a little bit hard, but it, it, it works relatively okay. Um, if you can actually make some faster decision making and actually show, like, you know, a seed that can grow and start going that way, like it, when I say a seed, like, I mean, like an idea that more people start flocking to, you know, exponential growth type yeah. thing. Not a plant. Not a plant. Not literally. There's not going to be like a tree from Avatar or something that connects everyone, like, neural network. That, that's that's to. weird. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that I, I think that the actual government be regulated, at, yeah, regulated to the sidelines a bit, whereas the new, uh, say, like the a new government or a new form of stuff where people actually start to participate, and even like electing, say, your prime minister or president or that, will become regulated because the things where all decisions are made are made more online and more, you know, yeah. the virtual democracy. I think. And then I, I'm going to chuck around. I'm going to play devil's advocate with that again. If we're saying that uh, a lot of decisions will be made online, then mm -hmm. a lot of decisions will be manipulated online. Oh, definitely. Oh, there's, without like, question. <laughs> If, if Google's collecting all, if all these people are collecting all this data about us, then they'll yeah. be able to manipulate us through various means yeah. online into, into you know, siding with a particular candidate, yeah. siding with a particular... Oh, view. we think propaganda's bad now? That's going to get exponentially yeah. worse. And you won't notice it, though. No, no. Because it'll be, be just issue. reinforcing the viewpoint. You're like, yeah, that sounds good. Yeah. Down with that. Well, it'll work out exactly where you are now. You just put into the system, I want them to be... So, say you're a hardcore, hardcore Tea Party, you know, conservative, and you're like, okay, I want them to be like a... Hardcore liberal leaning, you know, socialist or whatever you want to call it, and then you just put that into the system and it slowly works in there without them noticing it. Yeah, well, you can create that type and then of like system. Five years down the line, you know, they've made the transition. Yeah, by feeding them different <laughs> bits of information yeah. from saying that, hey, look, you, you're thinking this way, and we'll start leading you because we've got the yeah. data saying how other people have changed their minds. That maybe if we feed you similar data, and, yeah. that. and how do you protect yourself against that? You can't. It just means whoever controls those. Data algorithms. Yeah, whoever controls the distribution of the algorithms. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, that's a, that's a lot of random ideas. Yeah. We'd love to hear like your video response or something. Like, just do a quick video thing. Like, speaking for five minutes about like your yeah. political views about where it's going. I mean, we can speak for ages. I mean, politics is so much fun to speak about. Or just or just comments or anything. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. video response. I yeah. want a video response. And we got some cool stuff coming up where oh yeah um, oh the Singularity Summit uh, the Australian Sing the Singularity Summit they've just started releasing some of the videos yes so as they start coming out a bit more we're thinking well, we we want to actually try and get in contact with those speakers and do some interviews with them yeah so our Singularity section will just be us like you know drilling Chatting them on questions yeah. and want to drill be lots of drilling back and forth <laughs> yes ah Hugo de Garris <laughs> drill your brain yeah stuff like that. And other, other cool stuff that's coming up. Yeah. Readers over the site. Yeah. Should be kind of sweet. Mainly because it's broken. It doesn't really Well, yeah, true. <laughs> so yeah, it should yeah. be fun. Lots, lots of cool stuff coming out. We'll be going to be keeping busy. Yeah, it'll be fun. Yeah. Cool. Oh, catch you guys next week. Yep. It's been High 45 and I'm Tristan Grace. I'm Nathan Waters.